What's going on everyone? Jeff Blue here back with another video. Today we're doing an unboxing video. As boring as that sounds, I'm super excited because I finally got in a piece of gear that I've been waiting for for several, probably a year now, but you know, it feels like forever. I've wanted one of these, I've seen people use them, and I finally pulled the trigger on getting one. Um, and that is an SP404. This is the A model. This is the newer one, um, which a lot of people I know have hated on because it was really just kind of a paint job. But um, for those of you that don't know, I work at Guitar Center and this is the only one that Guitar Center carries new. So I figured since I get a discount, I would order this one. Plus I really dig the black and green. So I thought real quick we could do a video, opening it up, checking out how it is. And yeah, maybe do a little demo with it. So. hear a lot of things, at least about the SX model, like about the manual being completely in Japanese, so I guess we'll find out. Alright, it's actually in English, so that's a good sign because there's a lot of things I don't know about this. Oh, okay, they actually have made a version now that has multiple different languages in it. Even Portuguese, Spanish, Dutch if you're from there, the Netherlands. That's pretty cool. So I'm definitely gonna be reading that one. Honestly, it feels strange to hold one of these in my hand because I've watched so many videos on them that I feel like I know what it's like, but to actually hold one finally is a pretty cool feeling. So I think they said something about card, lock, screw. I don't actually see a screw. four gigabyte SD card loaded with Loopmaster sounds so that's there oh all right I think I'm gonna um, plug it in and give it a try wow this it's just like I'm in I'm in awe right now honestly if you ask any of my synth friends or I don't know if I said synth friends if you ask any of my musician friends they'll tell you that I've been talking about this device for like ever now and uh damn it's cool it's cooler in person honestly all right so i'm gonna go get some cables and try to set this up all right guys so it's been a couple weeks since the unboxing that you just saw i wanted to give myself a little bit of time with this unit because it is my first sp404 and even though i've watched a bunch of videos on youtube and stuff like that it's definitely different when you actually have one in front of you um, plus, I've been so busy with my friend's wedding, congrats to him, and I didn't really get a lot of time to sit with it. So now that I have, um, I want to show you guys what it's like in the SD card that comes with it. Um, there's probably other videos like this, but I thought it would be cool to show the people who follow me and if they dig my channel. So thank you guys. So let's dive right in. The SD card comes loaded with a bunch of sounds from Loop Masters, which is really cool. Um, that means I didn't have to go out and actually buy a SD card for this. Although I'm probably going to anyways just to stack up as many beats as I want for shows and stuff. But I thought I would start here. Um, what's cool is they've loaded up a bunch of sounds except for what they say in the manual is two banks. What they say in the manual is two banks are blank, which would be E and J. Um, but for mine, only the E bank was empty, which is fine. I didn't need a whole lot to put on. Um, I started checking out the sounds that are inside of it. I started checking out the sounds inside of it throughout the banks. Um, it's mostly just drum samples, so. There is some cool samples that I would definitely use from this. Wow. 
a lot of it works for like trap and dubstep and things like that. Um, so the E-Bank is one that I have loaded up with a bunch of my own beats. And this is so I can do beat videos on Instagram or perform live or DJ live, whatever I want to do. This is a, a great unit. I've already found multiple uses for it aside from just composing beats on it. So yeah, it even has some patterns loaded into it already. Um, so yeah, uh, pretty cool. I you know you could add those into your set if you wanted to and mix them up. I haven't really figured out how to use the effects with the patterns that are created yet because um, this is still new to me. But yeah, so there's a bunch of stuff there. Uh, I've already got my beats loaded up and it was a really simple process. And all you need to do for the software is just download the Roland program that basically just pops up with a bunch of squares that you can load sounds into. You can delete all the sounds off of this if you wanted to, like the sounds um, like that. Um, I think I'm gonna keep them for now and just get a separate SD card. That way I can really like load it up with beats and stuff like that. So yeah, other ways I've found to use this unit is when I'm recording samples, I could send it through this and affect them with the isolator, the filter drive, delay, whatever I want. Um, I can also do that with DJing. I can run my controller into this unit and be able to affect songs through this unit rather than uh, Serato or Virtual DJ. Um, so it just allows a lot and I've already got beats loaded onto it that I can play. That's just a quick demo of that, just to show you guys how you can use the effects. So it's a really great unit, I'm excited to have it, and as you'll see going forward, I'm going to start doing a lot more videos with this thing. Um, probably not tutorials, because I'm still learning myself, but definitely just beat playing videos, composing beats on this, and yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Alrighty guys, and that's the video for today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe for more videos. If you have any questions, comments, or things that could help me out with this unit, please feel free to drop them in the comments below and I will reply to you guys. Peace.